Hello. This lecture is going to be on finding notes on the harp in the bass clef. Okay? So in our previous lectures, we talked about identifying the notes on the harp in the treble clef. And if you look at the harp and you see middle C, you're going to see that the treble clef denotes these notes. <laughs> from middle C on up. Now with the bass clef, the notes that you're going to see are going to be these notes down here. They're going to be the notes below middle C, the lower notes. Um, as you go further down the harp, the strings are going to get longer and the notes are going to get lower and lower and lower. So when you're reading the bass clef, what you're reading are the notes found middle C and below. Okay, so today I'm going to show you the method of finding notes on the harp in the bass clef. And this is basically the same method as we use to find the notes in the treble clef. Okay, so there's going to be the spaces and the lines are going to be slightly different, but other than that, it's really the same process. Okay, so take a look at this chart and what we're going to do is we're going to locate this note, all right? So, first of all, when you're reading music, you got to look at which clef you're in, okay? Because the treble clef, which we covered before, it's going to be those higher notes. This clef here, whenever you see that, you're going to know that you're looking at the lower notes in the harp. So, that middle C that was located down here when we were reading the treble clef, because we're going lower in the harp, that note is going to be right here, okay? It's going to be above the bass clef, right here, above this. So, when you're locating notes on the bass clef, you're still going to use middle C, but you're going to be sort of going down from middle C instead of up. And just like the treble, this really does look like the harp, um, like I can tell you right now this note is going to be a lot lower than this note because just like the harp, these notes down here are going to be lower. All right, so for this note, first of all, as you can see, it says C. But the reason we know that is through our memory system. Now, um, with a treble clef, we remembered space equals space. Okay, that was easy, F-A-C-E. With the bass clef, it's going to be a little different. Um, and the saying that I use for the um, bass clef is all cats eat gophers. Um, that's just what came to mind. I'm a cat person. Um, but again, you can just use whatever works for you. So using that saying, um, all cats eat gophers, it's going to be A, C, E, G, all right? So using that system, we're going to know that this note is a C, all right? And since we know that all Cs are red, we're going to know immediately that it's going to be a red note on the C. And judging by its relationship with this and middle C, we're going to know that it's, it's, it's below middle C, okay? So um, one way of finding that note is to count the strings. Now, if you look at this, you think of it as sort of a replica of a harp. Each string is a step above that note. So, if the note were here, it's going to be one string above this. If the note were here, it's going to be two strings. Okay, so, in the same way, we can look at this middle C, and we can actually count how many strings below this middle C this string this particular note is located okay so if you go one one string is this two this line three four five six seven so we're gonna know if we look at the harp and we locate that middle C this is going to be seven strings below it okay so let me just show you that on the harp all right so we're gonna locate middle C and I did do 
an entire lecture on locating middle C. So if you're not sure where middle, middle C is, be sure to go over that lecture just to give you a really, really good understanding of where middle C is because this note is how you're going to learn your treble and your bass clef by knowing where this note is, okay? So if that note up there is seven strings below, it's going to be one, one string below, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this note right here, seven strings below, and it's red, so that's a good sign because we know all C's are red. So that's how we're gonna know that this is the note that we're looking for, okay? Now, another way to find that note, you see middle C, you see these letters, you've got all your letters written out, and again, I suggest sort of writing out your staff at home and, you know, just continuously practicing this process. So if you look at this chart, you're going to see that this is the first C below middle C. So you can easily look at the harp, find middle C, and see, <laughs> see that the first note below, the first C below that, right here and that's really easy to spot because all C's are red so this is the first red note below there so that's the note um, now I know this seems like a long process but um, you know at first you're gonna have to sort of figure things out like this but eventually you'll just know that when you see <laughs> this note this C that you're gonna just know that this is the note you're looking at, okay? You're not gonna have to go through the whole process, but yes, in the beginning you are, okay? It's the only way to learn, you know? You have to sort of just go through this process each time, and just figure out what those notes are until you just know, okay? So, we found the C. Now, I wanna do a couple more examples. So let's just pick another note. Let's pick this note. All right, say you see this note on the harp. You see a note right here. Here, I'll just, I'll even give it a little so it looks more note-like. <laughs> so you see a note right here, okay? What's the first thing you're gonna do? The first thing <laughs> is to identify the letter of this note, the name of this note, okay? And that you're gonna find using your system. So, since this is the bass clef, you're gonna know that, you're gonna have your memory system, you're gonna have your saying for the bass clef. My saying for the bass clef is, good boys don't fight a lot, all right? So, whatever your saying is, memorize it, okay? So you don't have to use my sayings. Um, actually, I suggest to make up your own because you want to make something that you're going to memorize that means something to you. So um, definitely make up something. Um, and the reason I say this is because it's a lot easier to remember that phrase than it is to remember E.G. or <laughs> see, I can't even um, G.B.D.F.A. It's going to be a lot harder to be like, okay, the first line's G, the fourth up is F. Like, it's just our brains, they're not wired to remember just information that's not relevant. Um, like that, just this is an F, this is a D. So that's why I recommend these sayings, because it's really easy to retain that sort of information. And when you're learning the sayings, you're only really learning four sayings like you're learning two for the treble clef and two for the bass clef and if you remember them you can remember any other you know all of these all of these lines so that's why I suggest that um, so using that saying on the bass clef good boys don't fight a lot what is this note going to be okay so the first line it's going to be G good Good boys don't fight a lot. First line, G. All right? So, we know right off the bat that this note is a G. 
Okay. Now let's look at middle C. Okay, it's right above that base glove. So let's just do it the first way I suggested. Find that middle C and count the strings, all right? So we have a string here, one, string here in this line, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so one way to find this is going to be count ten strings below middle C. Now let's just show you that on the harp. Okay, so we have middle C. We're going to count ten strings down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right? See how we found that? Ten strings down. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? And a good way to verify that that's a G is to look at this note and see where it is in relationship to F. Because as you know, G is going to be one note up from F. Alright? So, since the string below it is blue, we know it's an F. So that confirms that it's a G. Okay? Now, another way to confirm this note is again, look at middle C. Now, look at the notes below it, the letters, okay? So we're going to see that there is a G right here, all right? There's a G right here, and there's a G right here, where we're trying to find, okay? So if you look at this chart, you can see that this note is going to be two G's below middle C. Okay, so when you look at the harp, let's find the first G. It's going to be right here, okay? One above F. If you count backwards, C, B, A, G, F. Okay, and then the second G down is going to be right down here. Okay? So that's sort of two ways of verifying that you found the correct note, okay? Um, you want to find that middle C. Count down the number of strings that you've identified using this chart, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And also, confirm that it's actually the second G below middle C. Okay? So, and another thing that makes it, makes it very easy is that that's not going to change. As soon as you identify that this note is this note, it's always going to be the same. So the more you do this process and sort of find the notes out yourself, the more it's just going to become so familiar that you don't have to do as much work, okay? I'm only showing you this process because when you first start reading it, it is going to be, you know, it is a lot of information to learn. So you are going to have to go through this process, you know, each time. But that's completely normal because when you think back to learning anything, when you first learned it, you know, it was a lot of information. <laughs> you know, it wasn't easy, like riding a bike, driving a car, sort of anything you can think of when you first started doing it. You know, it took a lot of sort of putting the pieces together. So reading music, playing an instrument is no different, okay? So let's do one more, okay? Let's find this note. All right. So let's use our memory device. Bass clef. The space is I remembered all cats eat gophers. I remember A, C, E, G. So using that system, all cats eat, I'm going to know right away this is an E, okay? So that is the first step, all right? Now, you look at middle C, you know it's right up here. Let's count the strings, okay? Down. So first space is one string. This line is two. This space is three. This line is four. Five, okay? Now, middle C. All right, first string down, one, two. 
three, four, five. Okay, you see how we did that? Um, we mapped it out on here and then we found it on here. So we know, we know that when we look at this note, it's going to be this note on the harp. And that's not going to change. Okay, so yes, it does take a little bit of time to figure out the notes when you first get started, but the more you do it, the quicker you find the notes, first of all, and then eventually you won't have to think so much and remember the phrases, you'll just know, okay? Um, so I want to end this lesson here. I know this is a lot of new information, so I don't want to just cram more information in this one lecture, but um, I just want to just start um, with reading those notes in the, in the bass clef, okay, and just give you a method of finding them. And, um, you know, this isn't going to change. As soon as you know where this note is on the harp, it's going to stay there. It's only going to get easier. Like the more you read music, you'll be surprised at how quickly you just know where this note is, okay? Um, it, it really doesn't take as long as you would think. Um, you, won't, you won't even have to think about it. You'll see these notes and you'll be like, okay, that's where it goes on the harp. Um, without even thinking eventually. So, um, hope this lecture was helpful. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Um, you know, I'd love to just like, I want to make this as clear as possible. So just if there's any questions you have, just let me know. Okay. All right. See you next time.